So in this video, we are going to talk about how to transform the columns. So couple of things we'll be talking about. If you see, first of all, detecting the data types. Or I know we have already discussed the same, but couple of examples I want to give you right away. Like if I am into the sales table and let me just go to this uh, order date. If you see by any chance, if X, if uh, Power BI is not detecting the data type correctly, you should come over here and change it. And from here also you can change it or under the transform tab you have this date data type option available which is date if it is not you can simply change it from here <coughs> so that, that is one option i wanted to discuss and um, same goes for the number suppose if i go to the products table because see these are really very really important things if if these data types are not being detected correctly later on you won't be able to perform any calculation like if a date is not being detected correctly you won't be able to perform calculation like year to date fun features and year to date calculation mtd ytd qtd uh, dates in a particular period all such things you won't be able to do if it has not been detected correctly if you go with a number right in this case if the cost has not been detected correctly if it is a text suppose i'll change it to a text then what will happen we won't be able to calculate anything right that would be a problem you won't be able to perform calculation like calculating the revenue out of it. Later on, we have to find out the revenue. Okay. And uh, uh, can be done based on the price, but how about the profit? We won't be able to do it until the cost is available in a right format. So that is the reason I'll simply change it back to uh, a number which is okay or a decimal number, which is absolutely fine by me. Right. So that is something I wanted to discuss right now. Apart from that, I also want to discuss very amazing features of Power BI ETL tool, which is Power Query. There is, I'll show you by doing this. I have a sample data with me. Sometimes we get this recently. I've done a project for a client and similar kind of situation came in and we have a very easy solution for this. Otherwise, if we do not know about the solution, it will be very time taking, very confusing, very, um, you know, it will piss off if we'll not be able to uh, find that option. If you don't know the option exists. So let me just do it. It's a fill um, that there, there is an Excel file in the name of fill I have created for uh, other sample sources. You can also get it and I'm just bringing in two files over here, which is fill down and fill up. I'll simply click OK and uh, so you can simply select multiple sheets and those sheets will come up directly over here. No need to individually do it, right? So I've got filled down and filled up. Now this is amazing. It happened a lot of time in Excel also and recently as already mentioned, I've got it from uh, this situation from one of the client and the situation was we have this uh, category name available but you see that these cells are blank okay which you can see null so i need to fill it up what we can simply do it's amazing if you simply go to the transform tab and keep that column selected then under the transform you have the fill option under the fill option you have an option of fill down because we have to fill it down so i'll simply click on down and it'll get fill down right Similar way, so this is filled down and similar way you may have seen it has filled up also. So now I have another sample file with me, which I can do. I can come over here and it will start from the very bottom and fill towards up. So which is very rare situation, but I just created this example for you. Generally filled down is something which is very common because a lot of people convert the data into uh, pivot and send it across, right? How you can fill it down and i've also seen a lot of softwares create a drill down report like this where the categories and then the cells are blank so this way you will be able to fill it down very useful right okay um, apart from this i also want to talk about another very amazing option let me just discuss the pain area with you first you will understand the pain then it will become easier for you to understand the feature for this let me just go to the home tab and connect one more file and the file is going to be an Excel file and in the name of unpivot data. Yes, 
let me just connect it and uh, there is one file which we need to connect with is out of uh, the sheets it will show us three sheets over here i'm looking for survey data okay survey data and this is how it looks like i'll simply click ok now this is the list of employees we have and uh, what do we need to do you will understand over here first of all let me just do one thing to to promote the headers as we have discussed in the previous video because you can't you can see that it is saying column one column two column three which is not useful uh, to have so i'll go to the home tab on the right hand side right hand side use the first row as header as we have discussed earlier so the first row will get promoted at the top number one second of all you will see this is the list of around 133 employees right it has the list of employees and first of all we have the name of the employee let us understand the data in depth we have the name of the employee the region they belongs to position domain tenure correct now look at that on the right hand side the hr of this organization uh, just float out a survey asking about uh, their their um, you know comfortability working here in this organization and they ask about that uh, questions like um, do you feel encouraged to come up with a new or better ways to do so all the all the all the questions related to work they have asked right and these were their responses they were agree disagree neutral strongly agree strongly disagree all these responses were there and in total you will see there are many questions they have asked and the responses are in rows if the data is like this let me tell you you won't be able to analyze this data because it is not in a manner which you can use it you have to transpose the data you have to clean up the data to actually use it and to do so we have an amazing feature of power query i really love this feature it saves tons of work generally you have to i mean there is no such feature available like this one okay now what what do i need to do if you see it is supposed to be the risk the questions in front of the name of that person so suppose over here jackson is there so jack in front of the jackson all the questions must be mentioned Jackson must be repeated and all the question must be mentioned and then it's a response so that it will be easily can able to drop it in, into the visualization later on and to see that how many people are disagree how many people are agree this kind of calculation can only be done when the data is in a right manner now this is not so how to do it the purpose is we have to unpivot all of the columns which has questions then you will see the magic unpivot right now these are so many columns selecting them also is a challenge so what i'll do i will select other columns if you see i'm selecting these columns which i don't want to unpivot now you'll see a very convenient option we have if you go to the transform tab on the right hand side you have unpivot columns and in this drop down i don't want to unpivot them but what i'll do I'll click on the drop down and say I want to unpivot the other columns, right? Once I click on unpivot other columns, now you'll notice that this has been unpivoted. And in front of each name, you can see the name is repetitive because we have the question and the responses. Now it will become easier just to drag and drop to get the count of responses. So we'll know that, okay, how many percentage of people are agreed with this particular question, disagree with this question and so on and so forth which was impossible earlier and with just one click we got the result that is amazing let me just change the header also i would say question okay and then response right so i'm just fetching these tables over here into our model we won't be using them but but because a lot of features we have of power query i thought that i should create some samples so that you will be able to understand in which situation you can use such features i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much let's meet in another video